Saturday, the 9th of September 2017, 06.41 hours British summer time. It is a definite autumnal feel to the air and a heavy dew. Anyway, today, the start of a double header. Basically, Haircut and Panath today, tomorrow in Newport, a week today, and be 10. Maybe no 10, the return to Wessex, and later on in the week, the Great Welsh Beer and Cider Festival, various other pubs in between, in training mode. Oh, gone back to the smock. The weather forecast is, who knows? Some say rain, some say no rain, some say a bit of rain. I touch a red sky in the morning, which is a shepherd's warning. And here's today's fuel update. This is the result of the hurricanes, the other side of the Atlantic, Texas and the Caribbean and such like. Just before I'm going off on a Beano. Ah. However. <laughs> oh seven forty two and they're open and I'm in. Surprise. This could be fun. Post take it. There's the barbird flyer. And I think that probably needs weeding. That might be Cardiff. Nah. Hmm. We'll see. Wow, Dingle Road. The old Dingle. Or as I like to call it, Dingle Road International. Sunny. This is where I start. So I'm inside the Bear's Head. Bit of carpet for Mr. Manning. And um, having a conversation with the Reaver Trains Wales and the National Rail about that huge plant at the station in Caffilly. They're going to log it. And um, they're very nice. Anyway, number one for the day. Autumn days, Three Castles Brewery, 4.4% alcohol, 2.25 a pint. Telly's not working. Gotta look over there. But I'm listening to tech news today. Post DTNS. Hmm. A little bit malty, a little bit of a bit of finish. I think it's a bit cold at the moment. Finish goes on quite actually. I think that's B plus. Good but not great. Still carpet. Um I get in trouble for this. Because it's Ross Brewing and this Swansea. Although in cans here, which I've never seen before. And you can also get Welsh cakes. Now that's a plus point. So, um, Boss Beetle Juice, 4.8% alcohol by volume, juiced up pale ale. It's out of the fridge, um, and it's still a bit cold. There's a sort of strange fruity aroma to it. Nice full body. Malt and a generic sort of fruity taste. It's really rather pleasant. Slight bit of finish. I'll give it B plus in a bit. Nice can. I wish there was ingredients on it though because it says juice. I wonder if there are any fruit juices in it. Yeah B plus in a bit. Sorry Sue. Gaza. Actually, Gaza, Great Welsh Beer inside the festival, a week Thursday, he's on stage at three o'clock. That should be fun. There 
is a breeze and I'm 90 seconds early. I've learnt my lesson. Golden Lion. Well, Hop Craft Brewing. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Um, grudge match. Round 10, Equinox versus Amarillo. 3.9% alcohol by volume. I've tweeted out already at Hop Craft Brewing. Gaza, who may or may not be on a train. Mmm. Sharp and hoppy. B plus in a bit. Getting a bit of spice. I'll then gather. Well, there's a lot of weather about. Anyway, post chips. Listening to the here and there show. I'm going in. It's in the echo today. Mr. Manning, real wood flooring. And here we go, brewing by numbers 0708, strawberry wheat beer. The aroma is that sort of Belgian bubbly gummy. The taste is mostly bubbly gummy, there's a hint of strawberry in it. Like a little more. 5% alcohol by volume, I think, B plus in a bit. Bottle conditioned. Slightly sharp finish. Yeah, B plus in a bit. Braggy Heavy Industry were at Brewfest last Saturday. And I shot one of their hands and I didn't drink any of their beer, which was a mistake. Anyway, this is pigeon toad orange peel. And it says half wet underneath. I think it, yeah, 5.2% alcohol by volume. I'm getting Belgian yeast again, bubblegum, banana y sort of taste. Yeah. There's a lot going on inside this. But the finish is the finish is orange peel. Slightly bitter orange peel. Plus in a bit. Oh orange bitter peel. And it's very bitter. Oh no. It's raining again. And the sun is shining. Anyway, this is from Brasserie Boom or Bone B O N. You know the marriage perfect people. Uh, this is Morai Gurs, seven percent alcohol by volume, bottled conditioned. Lovely. Anyway, the aroma is typical Gurs. Farmyard, do you believe the term is? Dry, acidic, orangey. B plus plus and a bit, which I think is 3.75. Oh wow, the weather. Oh, listening to Windows Weekly. Mary Joe has a cat. 